Hey you guys, hi, I am Ruth Wilson. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel where we do makeup tutorials for beginners. So even though in the past month earlier, I did do an all colorful look and I also did a neutral look, but those included like shimmers cause you know, we just wanna mix it up. But today I decided that I wanted to do an all matte colorful look. Don't forget for our neutral makeup lovers, I didn't forget you because that's gonna be my next video but in this one I'm gonna show you guys how I was able to create this very all matte colorful look right here and if you guys want to see what I did and some of the corrections that I made from the last video then keep watching this one <laughs> Hey you guys, let's go through this one. So as you can see, um, one of the things that I had failed to do in the last video, it was to uh, carve out my brows and um, that's what I'm doing in this video. But I can tell you for sure, coming up right now, I made sure that I primed my base. Look at that. I am doing this one because I am making sure that the shadows are gonna stick and it comes out nice and vibrant as you saw in the beginning it looked really really vibrant really good so now we're just gonna get started I took my foundation brush and tried to um, buff out where the concealer was just stuck there and this is a technique that I wanted to try it was to put some light or white setting powder under your eye where I would have been able to catch the fallout that was going to happen uh, that way when you sweep it off you'll be able to literally get rid of all of it unfortunately I really think I put on a little bit too much and you're probably gonna see why so the first thing I'm gonna do is get into the dark shade here and I am literally making it into a curve on my eyes and uh, the shadows I'm using here is from Ace Beauty apart from Juvia's place Ace Beauty palettes are the goat y'all they are the goat they are absolutely amazing they are very very pigmented as to why I decided to go with this technique of using the powder but if you want to as a beginner I would still advise that you do your eyes first and then you focus on the skin in my case I think I've gotten away with it as far as I possibly could have uh, because I've been doing makeup for so long and I've um, been looking at other people do makeup for so long and I've been actually testing out doing my face first before eyebrows before lips before a lot of other things and it's kind of worked out really great for me so now we're going in with a nice light purplish pink more like a peach pink and I want to go on the top and buff out what I just did there as you can see that the dark one kind of gave the nice uh, curve where I really wanted to put the lighter eyeshadow it's kind of like cutting the crease but without having to actually cut the crease if you understand what I mean so we're just basically like buffing out everything that's happening here uh, to make sure that the shadows are peaking but in the middle of buffing things out I felt like uh, the dark shadows kind of got lost somewhere in between and on top of that I was using the wrong brush I should have just mentioned that I was using the wrong brush um, one big advice I will give you here as to where I'm patting I'm using a brush to pat in again I am able to get away with a lot of these techniques maybe as a beginner you might not be able to but it will be best that you use a pencil kind of brush that will be able to give you the preciseness that you're really looking for but if you don't have a precise one you know you can still follow along this technique into using a patting brush and doing the motions that as I was doing here now I felt like the dark shadow was right back where I needed it to be so then I was able to go back in with that pink and just buff out a little bit more feel free to go back and recorrect go back and repat if you feel anything got lost now I'm gonna take a very lighter pink and I'm going to apply that on the area where I literally have no shadow or literally was not supposed to have any shadow 
and I'm just going to put that on my lid. It literally looks like a gorgeous cut crease. I kind of actually like what's going on here. And I know that I did purple the very first time. I, I, all right, I know the next one's gonna be earthy tones, but I swear, next time I do eyeshadow and you guys get to see it, I'm gonna try my best to change up the colors a little bit so you guys can get to see the differences in all the colors. But the only reason why I went in with these colors, it was because of what I was wearing. So yeah, uh, that's what I'm doing right now. And I am just patting in that nice light pink. I love the dimension it's getting. You take a very clean brush, a brush that has absolutely no product, and I'm going to buff out just just go over everything, make sure everything is well blended, make sure that everything is smooth, it's intact, and it's all good. So now when it is done to my uh, pleasantness of what I wanted originally, now at this point we are going to start to add uh, some shadows underneath and in our inner corner. Now because this is an all matte look, I really had insisted on keeping it all matte, so I went orange on the inner corner. It's not really visible right now i mean this is a voiceover and i'm voicing this after wearing this look for a couple of hours but i'm looking at my inner corner and it's not that visible but hey it's not a bad idea right so i also took a deeper orange and i placed that underneath my eyes and i'm gonna go a little in depth with that and then take a fluffier brush and put some pink underneath it now when you see after i'm finished with that i'm going to remove the powder and you guys can comment and let me know down below what's going on here do you think that my under eye got a little more brighter than it should uh do you think it looks okay do you think that there would have been some flashbacks if i take took some pictures because i did and some pictures are actually at the back here but I don't know I'm looking at the look and my under eyes look matte as hell it also looks very 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 light as hell and I was not expecting it to look that light I think personally I think I used way too much powder so if you're gonna use that technique of putting the powder underneath your eye to catch the fallout of the shadows please do not use that much powder just take a small brush dip just a little bit into your powder and just tap 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 it on the main places where you get your fallout right in the, in the corner of your nose on the outside do what it is that you gotta do and that way when you remove the powder you're not gonna get that you know that whiteness of the kickback but hey still let me know in the comments if you think it's a little too light or if it's okay because I can't judge I don't know so after adding some uh, liner and my lashes this is what the look is looking like I love it it is gorgeous wait for some pictures <music> That's my video for today guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and you loved it. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video where most likely our makeup lovers who love the earthy tones, I'm definitely coming through with an all matte look just for you. And if you wanna see that and more, make sure to subscribe to my channel and be a part of my channel here, Makeup on a Budget for Beginners, where you can just comment below what other videos you would love to see on my channel and I'll take good care of you with that. So until then, see you guys on the next one. Bye!